Hi everyone, I'm Rincey and this is Rincey Reads. Today I want to talk to you guys about Fairest by Marissa Meyer. This is part of the Luna Chronicle series, which is Cinder, Scarlet, and Cress, and Winter, which is the final book in the series, is coming out this fall. This is a novella in the series. It's not like a full-blown novel. It only comes out to around like 220 pages, I believe, and it's listed on Goodreads as like 3.5, so it's not meant to be a full-blown story. But this is a prequel that follows Queen Lavana before she becomes Queen Lavana. So you are seeing her life, her growing up a little bit, and how she came to have the position that she currently does in the world that we know. I love this series and I thoroughly enjoyed this book. I really enjoy when a series, whether it be in book form or TV shows or movie form, take the villain and provide their backstory, provide an explanation for how they got to where they are. Um, I think it's very easy to hate the villainous characters for obvious reasons, they're the villainous characters, but I like when you can kind of understand their perspective a little bit better. So you see a little bit about Lavana's upbringing, you kind of understand where she's coming from when it comes to all of the horrible things that she does, but at the same time I really like the fact that Marissa Meyer doesn't completely write off everything that Lavana has done and still leaves her as the villainous character. Um, you do have some sympathy for her because you see how she was either mistreated or ignored or those type of things, but at the same time Lavana is very much making her own bad choices that have just led to more bad choices that have led to where she is now. One thing that I thought was really interesting was there is this character in the book who Lavana is basically in love with and she kind of just forces the man to fall in love with her and the man continually tries to explain how this isn't real love and you can't like force love and things like that and despite the fact that there is this person in her life who's trying to provide correction and uh, provide sort of this opportunity for Luana to become a better person. She just doesn't want to take it. She just continues to think that her way is the right way. And so I like that Marissa Meyer added that fact in because it shows how messed up she is despite the fact that she's had messed up things that happened to her. She also just makes a lot of poor decisions herself. I do wish this book was a little bit longer and I do wish that we had gotten more about her life. This book does jump around in time. Not jump around but it, it goes chronologically but you get sort of like glimpses at different points in Lavana's life, which is nice because you do get to see the progression from her as a child to her as the current queen that we know her as. But I kind of just wish this book was a little bit longer because I feel like there's so much more story that could be explored with this character. I did also really like how this book incorporates what we know about the previous books and what we know is going to be coming up in the final book. So there are little hints and little mentions to things that have happened already and things that are about to happen. So if you haven't read the series that um, uh, don't read this book. I think it is best to read these books in publication order, but I think this was a very nice lead up to the final book. It provides some background that we probably might not have gotten if we had just read the final book. If you're someone who likes the Luna Chronicle series, I definitely recommend that this is worth picking up. One of the things that sucks is that they seem to be marketing this as if it is a standalone. One of the things that sucks is that they seem to be marketing this as if it is a full length novel and it's not and I think the price point is the same as a full length YA hardcover novel which sucks. I got my copy from the library um, and I probably will buy the hardcover edition of it eventually to go with my other hardcovers of the books in the series um, but it does kind of suck that this is a novella and it's not really priced or marketed as a novella publishing houses guys. So yeah, I definitely recommend this book if you like the Luna Chronicles. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. I thoroughly enjoyed it. If you read this book, feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys thought of it. I know there are some people out there who had slightly more mixed feelings on it. I think I went in with pretty low expectations, partially because I knew it was a novella, partially because I was getting it from the library so I didn't have any money invested into it. Or if you have any questions about this book or the series in general, feel free to leave that down in the comment section as well. I'll also have links in the description to my reviews of the other books in the series. In case you guys haven't seen those already, you can always check that out. So yeah, that's all I have for now and thanks for watching.